grease is getting a little. I put these in just a tad. Just uh, grabbing some breakfast real quick. We're almost there. All right, y'all, we made it. Finally. Um, I'm gonna finish eating my breakfast real quick and we're gonna drop this boat in and hopefully go find some fish. Good thing is we got light wind, so we'll be able to fish what we need to and, and not have to fight it too much, hopefully. So let's finish this uh, biscuit and get, get in the water. check this bridge um, I really like fishing this bridge uh, in this winter time like this late late winter early spawn um, it's just it's always held fish pretty good for me over the years and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of come through here and just roughly scan it fish but it's hard to tell sometimes on this what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, fish I'm not gonna really use a live scope I don't think <laughs> I kind of just know the depth they tend to hang out at here <coughs> excuse me so we're gonna kind of give that a shot I think I'm gonna scan this next one and then I'm just gonna start fishing I don't know I just I don't really have a lot of confidence scanning this and seeing a bunch of fish because it's usually just onesie twosies from from my experience so i just don't think we're going to see this column lit up by any means i see some shad that's always good they're going to be it depends on the angle there's just a lot of things that kind of go into that so let's get over here get rigged up start fishing one thing I do like to do is I like to start on the ends of bridges. Instead of out in the middle, I like to set up, uh, start on the end. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, y'all, so we're gonna fish a double jig rig out here. There's nothing to hang up on. Um, and it's just a good way to cover two uh, water column depths. Depths in the water column, I should say. So I just got two 16th ounce jigs right here. I'm just gonna tie them both on with a loop knot. Just nothing special. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use these. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna put some uh, Camel's custom hand ties on. And the reason I'm gonna do that is these fish out here are probably gonna be pretty lethargic. They are probably have gonna been pressured. And so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna throw couple of these on I'm gonna do white chartreuse and then blue color isn't as much important as as you know profile or presentation so I mean the color I don't really care as much about so I'm just gonna thread this on here by the way y'all check these jigs out right here I hope y'all can see them really good great great jigs y'all be sure to check uh check him out he'll be linked down below as uh, as always he uh he's a long time supporter of the channel so y'all be sure to check him out three just two loop knots that's it cut the line with your teeth like that <laughs> about that far apart it doesn't really matter it's just personal preference but and then i got that on my uh seven foot Samsung sensitive right here i don't have much line left on this but i think we got enough all right all right 
this little sands right here makes it real easy seven footer to kind of reach in between all these columns and stuff like that so it uh, can really help so when i was over here i noticed there was some brush so that's one thing you know if you if you're fishing around a bridge always pay attention because a lot of people sink brush piles here um, it's just kind of something that just always it's always something you want to look for out here you can see here it's coming up right here i don't really know if it's gonna do anything but I figure why not you know we're already here let's just drop down and look all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and fish these columns um i usually catch fish here about 15 foot so that's about seven foot it's about nine foot it's 11 foot 13 15 we'll start at 15. and so what i'm gonna do too is i've talked about this on other videos i'm going to uh just kind of mark or not mark kind of stick my line right here a lot of people don't know but this little thing right here on this reel is meant just for this to hold that line at a certain depth so and we're just gonna come over here and pitch around these columns I look at these but I just don't think I'm gonna see fish per se oh I see a couple right here they're about 15 foot the reason I'm not real big on live scoping this bridge is because I have trouble figuring out what where they're at you know like as far as on this side that side this one's got a condo sunk right in the middle I actually got to drop it right on that one's head but uh it did not move there's, there's brush everywhere over here there's another brush pile right here there's some right here i think maybe i don't know it's really hard to tell this is where i have trouble with this live scope on bridges it's like where is this where is this fish at That's a good one. And we are gonna try not to run into everything over here. <laughs> there we go. White crop. That was on that blue camel's custom right there. Okay, we just gotta be a patient right here. That's a good solid fish. Go ahead and throw this one in here too. definitely gonna be a grind day on this today I can just already tell I mean it's all it's always kind of been a grind but I can usually pick off some fish hit like when I'm at the trolling motor engaged oh that's a nice one that's a nice one there we're just gonna lift them up in here with the sand super sensitive oh yeah hog wow that's a good fish that's a good pre-spawn too you can tell pre-spawn fat belly sweet working on a few it's not easy but we're working on a few camel's custom hand tie and fish can't resist it, especially this cold cold water this fish right here are pressured like i said and just they haven't seen it something small you know and 
make it. And what makes bridges so good is in the back of this cove, these fish are gonna spawn. And then they, a lot of them are out in the main lake. And so when they come this way, they just naturally have to stop here and hang out for a little bit. They got plenty of shad right here. Um, you know, they're, they're, they can just hang out, eat, feed up, and then whenever it gets time, they'll just move on back. So it's just a perfect just stopping ground for these fish. I don't fish a lot of bridges just because, you know, everyone fishes them, but I don't mind fishing bridges. Especially if I know like I have a good chance of catching some good fish. But you know, like I said, these are pre-spawn fish, and so some of them might be a little lethargic. And again, that's why I went with that. Those uh, camels custom hand ties. Just give them something they haven't seen, something small. And I feel like it helps my chances for sure. Let's just keep on looking. We're getting close, y'all. When we get another few weeks of some good weather, some warmer weather, it's gonna be it's gonna be on. So we just gotta hold on. Lots of bait. And you see the bait right here on the screen. That is uh, another reason they're here. You can see. I don't know if you can see the water. It's 43 degrees. Chilly. Well, I tell you what. We're definitely gonna take these home and fry them up. So we're gonna take it to the house pretty fast if we don't catch any here. My trolling motor is pretty much dead too. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with this thing, but it's it's not acting right. It should not have almost died already. Like it's barely moving. It's full blast on 10. Okay, let's go ahead and go, y'all. Let's take it to the house right now. All right, y'all, so we made it back to the house. Um, I'm gonna try and do some more of these if I can. Um, if y'all enjoy these, definitely let me know. And I'll see if I can do more of these, but... I don't know, just kind of wanting some fish today and figure why not. So I'm using the Rapala R, uh, what is it, R12 HD. And uh, so far, so good. I definitely like it so far. Let's see. These are the Rapala blades too. I, I think these are the nine inch, if I remember right. But... So this is my little fillet station here. But uh, yeah, so we only got got a few today. You know, didn't need a lot by any means, but definitely got enough to get the get the uh, job done. So. Right here, just solid fish. So, go ahead and fillet them. This is how I fillet my fish, just like that. Get that backbone, turn it. Oop, that one actually cut through. I definitely don't want to do that, but let's see. When you do that, you just kind of gotta work with that that tail a little bit. that I'm gonna put the uh, scraps right here for now just like that two good fillets you can see how thin that is on there. Very, very minimal waste. I'll go ahead and just cut the rib cage out on these. Like that, put them in some water. Just like that. Move on to the next one. Get that last 
last rib cage out. That's it. All right, now to the next step, frying them. Let's get to it. But yeah, this, this R, uh, what is it, R12 HD, really, I'm really liking this so far, so no way sponsored by them by any means, but if you're interested in a good knife, I'd definitely check this, this one out. All right, so cooking these outside just makes it a little easier and less messy, so I'm gonna put some oil in this pan. Pretty good amount, actually. I like peanut oil for this, but I don't have any on hand, so we're just gonna we're just gonna use this. And uh, we're gonna use Louisiana seasoned fish fry. I like the Tony Sacheries better, but this is just what I had had on hand as well, so. <clears throat> What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, batter in here. Just like this. Pretty good amount. I'm not going to put salt in these in this right now because it does come with salt and my wife doesn't like this real salty. So if I like a little more salt, I'll just add it after. So it is, I don't soak my fish in anything. Um, there's I, I really don't don't find the need for it. This milk is for these hush puppies right here We're gonna make So I'm just gonna let this heat up and you want this grease to be pretty hot. So It's one thing I will say And these are the fillets right here I'm gonna try and corporate more more videos like this in you guys especially just if I can do it outside on a good day I don't mind at all. It's just there's just a lot going on at my house at all times, so it, uh, it's not always doable. I can hear it starting to crackle a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple fillets in. I'm not going to go super like fast with these. I can cook these and take my time. It's no big deal. Just put them in that box right there. Shake them up. simple you have a good breaded fillet just check the oil I'm still not ready okay, and I do like the fillets to be wet I feel like they they pick up a little more uh, batter which this one might not have been good for that good enough I, uh, I don't eat fish a lot like this I enjoy it I really do it's just it's just kind of a messy process and with two boys you know it can be pretty chaotic but I really do enjoy it it's it's you know good to get out there catch your fish and come back home and cook them up so I'm gonna try my best uh, to incorporate more of this but you can see that's just what they that's just what they look like go ahead and throw them in I'm only going to do a couple at a time. There's no need to rush it. But. Can't go wrong with a fried crappie. Doesn't get much fresher than this, that's for sure. Swimming a couple hours ago, and now they're in some grease. Give these a few minutes. These crappie fillets don't take long at all to cook. I'm uh, I'm very OCD when it comes to like fish and chicken and stuff like that. I like to really double and triple check and make sure it's done. I don't know. It's just just how I am. Oh, I thought I was filming the whole time, but I wasn't. What's new? <laughs> well, we're just cooking fish. I think this little one might be pretty close. And grease is getting a little I put these in just a tad bit too soon but like I said I like to really check make sure it's done and it is I just want to do the same thing just make sure it's done 
it is. Okay. So now we just move on to the next round. We definitely are a little more breaded, which is good. Getting there. My uh, my grandpa to this day, he he just he loves fish and it's hard for him to throw fish back. <laughs> Legal fish. He just wants to keep them and eat them all. I don't blame him. Taste test this a little bit. Hmm. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, that is really good. It's been a while since I've had some fish. Hope you all enjoy that. Uh, catch and cook. I don't do a lot of these, but like I said, I'm gonna try to, to do more if y'all enjoy them. So let me know down in the comments if y'all enjoy this type of video. But I'm gonna fry the rest of these up and get in there and eat. Thanks again, I hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if y'all can. Hit that notification bell, that way every time I post you guys get notified. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Catch you on the creek bank or on the water. See ya.